Hello everyone, this is Marina from astrolada.com. In today's video I want to talk about the position of the moon and how important it is, especially in the horoscope of a child. So the first thing with, uh, we should start with is to define uh, whether the moon is in an active or in a passive sign. Uh, there are two polarities, so the earth and water signs, they are passive signs and the air and the fire signs they are more active so even from that uh, you can get a lot of information if your child has a moon in fire or air element it means that it will be more extroverted if the moon is in the passive signs uh, water element or earth element then uh, this child can be more closed and more introverted and depending on that you, you know how to react and uh, what to expect from your child. So let's make a quick overview of uh, the four elements and how the moon is affected when uh, it is situated in one of these uh, elements. So let's start with the fire element. Uh, the fire element, these are Arius, Leo and Sagittarius. So of course the main and the main quality of the uh, of the fire element it's related with activeness so children uh, with the moon in fire element they are they are very active they have uh, a lot of energy uh, they need to direct this energy because otherwise it may become um, totally uncontrollable and uh, if they use uh, this energy in the right direction then it can be very constructive and they can receive uh, a lot of results so the the basic quality of the fire element it's activeness uh, there is something specific about uh, the fire element uh, it's related with control with uh, domination and very often these children are not capable to accept orders from other people including from their parents so this is something that you, you should be uh, more careful about uh, and another thing is that it's more difficult for them even to listen they can talk uh, they are good in expressing themselves but they are not so uh, they are not paying a lot of attention uh, to what other people are saying to them so to make your child with the fire moon listen to you or follow some kind of order or think about the things that you are uh, talking uh, about you should be more consistent and uh, to insist uh, to be heard to to attract their attention uh, so, so basically th this is the main uh, quality of the fire element activeness domination and leader skills uh, let's move on with uh, the moon in earth element the earth uh, signs they are Taurus they are Virgo and Capricorn so the, uh, first of all these children they are more closed more introverted and there is some kind of barrier they, that, that they need um, they need more time to, uh, to allow other people to get close to them including children on their age uh, so you have to be more careful and uh, things happen more, uh, more slowly uh, slowlier for these children they, are not, uh, they don't react well if you try to make some sudden changes uh, their adaptation can be more difficult uh, for children with earth moon uh, they need some kind of distance some kind of personal space and not to be pushed uh, because otherwise they might be like getting some kind of shell and isolate uh, themselves and in some in some way mm, they feel that the world is and people around them are more distanced and uh, more even you know not so friendly so that's why uh, they may prefer to stay and uh, to stay away from others and to keep some kind of barrier. So you have to be more careful and not to try to get too close to them if you feel that they don't want it. And uh, changes, you have to make uh, every change. Uh, you have to plan it. You have to... Um, 
discuss that with them and not to surprise them, not uh, to make some really sudden changes, unexpected things because they might uh, stress your child too much. Mm, the next uh, element, uh, let's move on with the uh, water element. Uh, children with the moon in water element, they are more sensitive, more emotional. They are more softer. Uh, it, with them, you can also uh, notice some kind of similar uh, qualities and behavior like the earth element. And uh, in this case, the parents should be more careful, more patient. Also, children uh, with the moon in water and earth element, uh, you need to be more patient with them and uh, they can get insulted more easily than others they can remember everything for longer time especially what has hurt them so you have to be more careful with children in water element and uh, the emotional surrounding is extremely important for these children they are more sensitive and if the family atmosphere is not harmonious it affects them really badly because they are able to feel everything uh, in their surrounding area. So with children in water element, you have to be really careful, especially with Scorpio, which is a more specific sign. Uh, so, and, and, and uh, children with water uh, moon, they are more passive. You don't have to push them to take uh, fast decisions, uh, to do things really fast. Uh, they are not so active. It's not uh, in their nature. They need uh, things to be more uh, calmer, uh, to be more people to be more patient with them and not to push them in uh, any direction. And uh, the moon in air element, uh, we can say that probably this is the most... Um, the most friendly uh, sign of uh, position of the moon because these people and especially the children uh, they are capable to feel others as their friends they are more open they are ready to communicate uh, to get in touch with other people there is not uh, such a barrier like uh, the earth and the water element these children they are very communicative and they need to exchange uh, information, they need to get in touch with uh, children on their age, they need to learn more things, they are very curious in most of the cases, and they're more adaptable. Uh, if your child has a moon in air element, uh, you can make some changes without uh, the fear uh, how your child is going to accept the new circumstances, because uh, the air element it's related with uh, a lot of flexibility inner flexibility that allows your child to get used to the new circumstances really fast also these children they are more open more friendly with others and they are not so afraid like uh, the moon in earth and water element sometimes might be more uh, these children might be more afraid of others uh, but uh, the difference is that the moon in air element, it is much more uh, friendly and much more open. So uh, I think that uh, that's just a quick overview of the moon in the fourth element. Every sign has uh, specific uh, characteristics. And uh, I want to invite everyone to join us on the 24th of September on our webinar for uh, Astrological Psychology for children. We are going to discuss a lot of things related with the behavior of your child, with the needs of your child. Uh, we'll discuss the position of the moon. We'll discuss the dominant element in your child's hor uh, child horoscope. We'll discuss the communication between the parents and the child and what are the possible difficulties in every combination. We'll also talk about the birth matrices and how they can affect uh, the whole life of your child and the way it uh, it feels the surrounding world we are also going to discuss uh, the position of mercury and how it affects uh, 
the intellect of your child, the mental abilities, and how to, uh, what are the best approaches to help your child to educate, and uh, what is the best direction uh, for him. So uh, thanks a lot for watching this video, and uh, I hope to see you on the 24th of September. Bye bye.